So we at the 20 stair, right outside the library. Look at that. Oh my God. I actually reckon you could do that, Jack. Wait, wait, wait if you have sat on that, you could do it. Eh? Oh, dude, no. Honestly, you're the that's one to do it. Just give it a run up, dude. Wait, Jay, watch out for a second. Look how low that is. What is up, guys? You know it's Sean Desi here, and you know I'm bringing you back with another video. So today I'm actually meeting up with Jack Dorth and Dunk Easy, and we're going to be heading to kind of a local park, but not local compared to the other two I live next to. It's Chroma Skate Park. It's about one bus ride away from here, about 25 minute bus ride and a little five minute ride. So it's nothing too drastic and it's actually a pretty good skate park and it's usually empty on weekdays. Well, every skate park's usually empty on weekdays, so I love riding skate parks on weekdays. But we're going to be heading there, guys, and I don't know what today's going to have in store. We could go spots after or we might just go skate park, I'm not sure. But with Jack there, he's probably going to want to go spots, so I'm not sure, guys. We're just going to have to see how the day plays out. But anyway, prior to that, I've actually got a package from Syndicate that I'm going to be opening on camera for you guys just because I don't even know what's in it. Regan said he just sent me a bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna crack it open, just see what's in there, and yeah, it should be good. I'm gonna open this package. Let's get it. Look at this beauty package. Anyway, I'm gonna get the camera set up right now for you guys so I can start unboxing it. So I've now got the camera set up, got the package right here, gonna start unboxing it, but I forgot a knife, so I need to get that now. Alright guys, we've acquired the sword, got the box, now I'm gonna get into cutting it. Just like that, we have an open box. Ooh. At first sight, I see a bunch of stickers, a sheet of tape, and two shirts. So I'm gonna quickly grab the camera now and show you guys that. Camera angle has changed. Looks like we've got two shirts in here, a black and a white, sheet of tape, and a heap of stickers. So I'm gonna quickly get them out of the box now and show you guys them. Look at this package, guys. There's even more in here than I thought. So we've got two medium-sized t-shirts, one black on white, and one white on red. And then we have some white on red syndicate stickers, a whole bunch too. And I'm already stocked on these. So I've got more. So come up to me, ask me for stickers if you see me, and hopefully I'll have some at the time. I mean, I can't guarantee it, but hopefully I have some. And also, Regan has kindly given me three whole sheets of Syndicate grip tape. You might be thinking, how am I supposed to ride this when I have my signature grip? I'm thinking of just maybe, like, cutting out the logo or something and putting it, I don't know, just, like, we'll see how it goes. He just sent them anyways, but I'm going to try and do a grip tape design video maybe with something like that and my signature tape. I don't know what will go on. But we will see. Anyway, to get to the point, I just want to say big shout out to Syndicate Street Store and Regan Thompson. Big thanks to Regan for all that stuff. That is so kind of you, man. I appreciate it. It goes a long way. And thank you to all my sponsors. Much love to everyone because I wouldn't be rolling on a fresh whip without you guys. Anyway, let's get the day going. Currently riding no hands. Look at this, I'm a free man, I'm a free man, I'm a free man. Bang, 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 bang. Forgot to mention, D rocked up. How's what is up, guys? guys? Looking for another day, shredding with the homies. That's it, man, that's it, that's it. How long to the bus again? Um, should be about 15 minutes now. Oh god. Alright. 15 minute wait. That's no good. Hit some shops before the skate park, do? Yeah, we got a massive hill bomb. I don't know if Carl will be able to film it. Yeah, it's it's a lengthy one. It's a lengthy one. I'll show the viewers yeah, the top of it, it. But if we had a GoPro, we could do it. But I mean, Looking we don't. To Looking to invest in in the future, possibly. It's not necessarily a steep one, guys. It's just a long one. So I'll see you at the shops. Yeah. Sweet. We made it to the shop skis. 
Alright, let's jut. So the shops are just over there, we're gonna go hit them now. We are here guys. Hey, sir. Thank you. We have rocked up to the skate park, guys. It is just through these bushes in there. I'm going to get in, set all my stuff down, have a warm up, and then I'll definitely get into the clips for you guys. We are here, guys. This park, I like it. I like it. I fucking love this place. I know. It's pretty great. Ah, right, explain These it. Things are like they look like they'd be like grippy as, but no joke. Front boards. They are they, seriously glidey, guys. Look so at this. Slippery. Front they fifty. Basically most of look at this. Bed. Front fifty. And they were just installed to pretty much be garden beds, but they are basically extra little flat bar kind of things all around the joint. It's so crazy. This skate park's sick. I'll definitely take you guys around it in no time. Now I'm going to show you around the park. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna start it off with this whole top section up here and then branch out and work my way down and show you guys the whole skate park. So up here you've got two huge flat to down hubbers corresponding on each side with a wax sized rail. I don't get this. And then you got a three flat four with a three stair here and a bank. Pretty nice, it runs into nothing. See this skate park's kind of set up a bit weird but I don't know, it's still fun. Two kind of weird ledge things. You got a huge kind of like L-shaped slash C-shaped ledge here, which is kind of neat. Got a cart. And then coming down to the kind of street section here, we got the uh, real nice round bar. Very nice. A few curbs and stuff that are pretty jibby. Curved rail. Garden beds, as I said before, there are so many of those all over the park. You also got a sweet fat bank with a ledge with coping on the top. Kind of like a gap into there, there. And it's kind of hipped as well. And you got a huge down hubber here, and that's where I started up here. You got a three stair, three stair, banks, hubbers, hubbers. They tried to grow plants in here, but it clearly didn't work at all. That finishes off that. Then you come to here. I've never seen anything like this in a skate park. I like this feature. This is probably my favorite thing in the whole park. This A-frame thing. It's so sick. Just both corresponding A-frames on both sides. Really low. Good banks too. I'm definitely going to get some clips on these for you guys. And you've got an odd shaped manual pad here with just some banks on it. You can also grind the sides. You've got a weird shaped rail here with some banks along the side of it. It's more of an up rail than a down rail. Look how low it ends. More banks up where D is there. Another set of bank. And then down here you've got kind of like a curved ledge with banks going all around it. Huge gap here. A weird bank there. More garden beds there and here with two ledges both there. And then coming over to here you've got more garden beds as well. And to finish off the skate park, you've got a beautiful spine, which is so sick. I love this feature of the park. Anyway, guys, it's about 9.45. Me and Dee rocked up here pretty early. We're just going to kick back for a bit, warm up. I'll set up the camera later for you guys, get a few clips. And Dorf shouldn't be far off. He's still at his house, though, of course. So he should still be coming today, but I'm not sure what time, honestly. You never know with Dorf. So I'm going to get into a clip shortly for you guys.
hope you enjoyed all those clips I just got. I just pumped those out really quick. D helped me out, stock a few as well, so thanks to him. I just went so hard for that, got a lot of that first team. My consistency's on point today, guys. Very happy with it. Anyway, I'm gonna put the camera away now and I'll get some more clips for you later, guys. We're just calling Jack Dorf right now, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can take the call. What? Typical Jack, where's he at? So we've been here for about two and a half hours now. I've got some vlog clips for you guys, got a few instas, but Jack is still not here. What? Are you only just at the bus stop now? Yeah, it's taken ages. I sent you a text message. Are you getting the 136? Yeah, it only takes like half an hour. So I now think it's necessary to get the next few clips for you guys, just to feed you for now. those clips I just set up the camera on the flat bar and me and D as you saw just annihilated it there's not even a flat bar in the park anymore after we shredded that thing so anyway guys Dorth's running heaps late which is really inconvenient so I gotta go home a bit early today but I'll pull out the camera when we meet up with him and that's probably all the clips I'm gonna get at Chroma so it's about one o'clock now we've been here for so long I think we're gonna call it a day for Chroma and head to some spots D you ready to go yeah hell yeah let's go <laughs> all right let's head D Alright, uh, so late as Chroma. We are heading. Oh, he's still going. Ah! Oh. Ah, woofy. Woofy. We're just hitting up that BP just before we go home. Hey, sir. Chocolate section down ways. What's there? Mmm, marshmallows. What's my man sausage? I don't know, because these. Just this, thanks, sir. Bye, Craig. Thank, Thank you. If you're watching this, chores him up. <laughs> Spot oh, lengthy hills. Okay. KMF. Look who it is, guys. The Terminator. What is up? been waiting a while, you know. Same with we, my man. Yeah. I'm just gonna cop a large freeze from this joint. 
We copped, met up with the man, and now we are gonna go head to some local spots. First few, right down there. I think we got a down rail in store, then maybe a few ledges or something. Should be good, guys. Let's get it. So we're on our way to our first spot, which I'm gonna show them. It's right in that car park in there. There's actually a few spots in there, so we're gonna check them out now. We're at the car park now, guys. Should we show the viewers the uh, fat rail? Yeah, the 21 set. I think we should. There's a huge 21 set right at the top here at the library. There's also like another rail down here-ish, and then like another one over there that is way easier to do. There's also that one that Reese did. Oh, the kink. Yeah, the kink kind of thing. But yeah, we're gonna show you the 20 set right now. So we at the 20 stair, right outside of the library. Look at that. Oh my God. I actually reckon you could do that, Jack. Oi, notice how they repainted it and it's already been grinded up. Oh, dude, no. Honestly, you're the That's one to do it. Just give it a run-up, dude. The run-up's good. Oi, honestly, like being- Look how low that is. Oi, Jay, watch out for a second. Look how low that is. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it with my camera in my hand right now. Honestly, Jack, if you're gonna hit a 20 rail, that should be the one, eh? Is it 20 or 21? I don't know. Then on the other side of this 20 set, we got this hella boon. This hella boon rail. That is good. Uh, Double vlog clip real quick. There's an inside though. That one's for you, Kai. Imagine inside a 20. Inside a 20. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Here's Fuck another it. angle Fuck of it. it. Jesus. I like this though. Like, how is there just two perfect kind of like rails? You know what I mean? Okay, like, so that's America one, stuff. One's like, fat but low. This one's like perfect but tall. Perfect but tall. Hey, this is mellow but tall. This is fat but low. Oofed. Oofed. Here's the other one, guys. Reese Alderton did this rail, by the way. And Reese Reese Jones actually tried to front board it. Hey, I was there. Were you there? And he landed and he like smashed his knee on his face. What happened? Like, did he get romped? Not really, like honestly. That's crazy. How'd they do this one, eh? They just put a piece of cardboard there. That's nuts. So I'm gonna show you the smaller rail now, which is like the only rail I can hit here. No. No. Oh, we got done. Uh, well, we got done. Only, like, well, all wheels are rideable, but this is the only rideable rail that we could actually pull off today. I would hit this rail for you guys, but unfortunately, there's a car here. I've boarded it, back lipped it, and back lip whipped it back in the day. It's actually a pretty sweet rail. The run up's a bit jank, but other than that, it's actually a really nice rail. Like it's quite low and it's quite sick. So this is pretty much all we have in store for the library. There's like one rail over there that I might show you that's like not doable for us, but it's like a huge BMX rail. As I said, real tall, real long. So it's pretty crazy. I'll show you that quickly. Rollerbladers have done it, BMXers have done it. It's pretty gnarly. I'm actually really surprised that there's like four decent rails that are like pretty gnarly and stuff all in this one vicinity, eh? It's quite crazy. You wouldn't usually see that in Australia. Well, look at this fatty. Oh. Oh! Oh my gosh! Imagine going um stairs over the flat gap too. So it's actually quite low, eh? Honestly, I'll probably try that. It's so long though. Oh, that is long. Holy crap! Let me zoom in for you guys. Just I can so you see get. You're holding a 50 on this car. Oh my! There's like a solid six squares of rail in that. You try it? Not now, but maybe. <laughs> Kink, no, nah, that's shit. How hefty is this rail though, guys? It's quite a hefty one. Didn't CJ Wellsmore do it? A yeah, local rollerblader? Also, also gapped over this one too. Actually? Yeah, rollerblader. Yeah, rollerbladers are crazy. I wish there was more of them around. Oh, the place is actually open, so I don't know how long we'll have here. But here's the other spot. It's a pretty hefty rail hop, as you can see from there, just yeah. over. It's pretty gnarly. And a wall rod thing here. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick. There's actually a lot of spots around this area, which is cool. How big is it, Jack? It is, eh? Gee. That is gnarly. So you could probably either go from here and go board pop over or just huge gap the bottom part. That'd probably be the best stop, just charging that. We're going to go hit some ledges down near Coles real quick and hopefully get some clips for you guys. That's the plan. I believe we are at the ledges, guys. I am correct. They're in the distance. Here they are, guys. You might have seen these before. They're real fresh, real fresh. It's really sick. It doesn't backlip or board slide. It pretty much just feeble smiths and all that kind of stuff just because it is like a marble ledge. 
What do you think? Well, I think we need wax. You know, wax. I've got a bit of wax. That's sweet. And that's the thing. I'm always the one with the wax. Put your bag in the case. So there's not really anywhere to set up my camera. So me and D are going to take turns of getting three clips each. Mind getting us three? Oh yeah, boy. Ah, uh, your turn, my man. See what you got, bro. Make me proud. First tee. What? 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 Oh, oh, oh. You got me 3D? Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, mate. Get it, lad. Oh, I'll go through. <laughs> I caught that so well. A sketch, but it was nice. Keep it. That's me. That's him. That's him. Thanks for the film, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, brother. Hit me up, guys, anytime you need a film. That's it, guys. Hit him up. Session is going down, guys. Show us what you got, D. Ooh, front board a little kinky poo. Nice, man. Oh, nice, man. Ooh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed those clips. Me and D just took turns filming each other and getting three clips each. Hopefully that was enough for you guys. I'm gonna head home soon and say goodbye to everyone. So I'm pretty much home now. Had a great day out riding with Jack and Dunkies. He started off chill, left the house a bit late because Jack said he was going to meet up a bit later. Then we went to Chroma, had a nice session there, got some Instas, got a lot of vlog clips for you guys. Jack still wasn't there, so we left, went to go spots, met up with him, and then we all went spots for a bit. And then after a few spots, I called it a day for myself. I said latest to everyone. And then we all went our separate ways. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new. Turn the notifications button on to get notified whenever there's a new video. And of course, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.